Professional Home-Based Care is a program through our community, Our Kids. It is a specialized program that serves some of the highest needs children in our area. The parents who work for the Professional Home-Based Care program provide intensive therapeutic services to really treat the behavioral health, mental health, and trauma that our children have experienced in our area. Parents who become foster parents for the Professional Home-Based Care program are those who have empathetic souls and nurturing hearts. Um, our parents are highly trained through the contracted agencies that we work with to provide specialized treatment services for our kids. My name is Devin Perez and um, we've been fostering, me and my husband have been fostering for about eight years before we actually started with PHBC. We took a break for a little bit and I actually started working for OCOK and um, I was actually a, a train supporter. Um, so I did that for about a year and when I was transporting kids, I realized kind of what RTCs were, residential treatment placements were, group homes. And um, when I was fostering, I didn't realize what they actually were. It's not a place that a kid should call home or family. Um, and that just kind of went with me home every day because like I said, I fostered before. So just seeing these kids and the placements that they were at, I knew that I could do more for them. And I knew that our family was capable of taking on some of these harder kids. We got licensed back in 2016 with what I would call traditional fostering. And we got in there with a heart. We'd already adopted four children. Um, and so we just wanted to again open our homes up. I realized that we do have a gift in our family that we can support families in a lot of different ways and because of our adopted children they're all um, teenagers it was like we felt like we needed to really move into that direction and this was a perfect program for us to do that. Our children are typically 12 and older they are the ones who have had the most instability in our area bouncing from placement to placement we really work to find permanent placement options for our children and therefore the program is anywhere from 9 to 12 months. We are working that whole time to find either reunification or adoption or some kind of permanent placement to exit the child successively out of foster care. The kids are, are tough. I'm not going to underestimate that uh, by any means. They're tough, but they're worth it. Um, they're worth the work that goes along with it. It's hard, it's hard work, but they haven't had anyone believe in them. They haven't had anyone take the time for them. They haven't had anyone that's consistent, that's there through all the, the hard times, the running away, the, the hospital visits, the, crying, the tantrums, the just the tough stuff. And also the good stuff, the hugging, the parties, the playing around, being goofy, having what feels like a normal family. And how can you make connections? How can you build life when you're transferred around every three months? Because a lot of these kids it is, and even some of them aren't even there three months. We've had the young man that's been with us. He came to us in April. And from the beginning, he's the sweetest, most loving young man, but he's never had any stability in his life. He um, came to us at age 16, he's now 17. And just being in a family every day and doing family things is a challenge because he's not ever experienced that. I find such drive working in this program. Um, it motivates me every day. It's the big things when a child is reunified with their birth parents and it's the small things when a child is celebrating that they've been in a placement for three months and that has never happened for them before. Um, seeing our kids truly excel, truly find healing from years and years of trauma 
through parents that I get to work with day in and day out is, is unbelievable. Um, it truly is a blessing for me and for my staff. We work every day to help overcome barriers, to help unify teams, and to help find these permanent placement solutions so that children can go home and um, really excel in life. The benefits, you can't even put in words because it's more of a feeling. It's more of a satisf satisfaction. And it's not just about you, it's about them. That's, that's who it's really about. You see them progress like no other and you see them grow that's when it's worth it is just the change that you see in the kid if you have a love for teenagers and preteens this is the perfect program and if you are a great mentor if that's a gifting this is a perfect program because we have so many kids who are aging out and we have to do something to prepare them they you know you throw them to the wolves and what good is all of this done for them nothing so and that's what we tell our son that, you know what, even if you leave us when you're 18, we're always going to be a part of your life, always. You can call us about anything. You're always welcome here. We'll always support you. And that's true. I mean, he, it's just because he's been with us for a year, he's in our hearts forever. If you are interested in becoming a PHBC foster parent, here are a few things that you may need to know. The training can vary in length depending on which agency you choose. Typically, training can go anywhere from two months to four months. Um, once you are licensed through your agency, you will be provided a whole team of support from a case manager to a therapist to wrap services to behavioral health. Um, each agency sets this up a little differently, but we really try and support our families, support our parents, and provide as many services to our kids as possible. Because this is a professional home-based care program, we do ask that one parent, or if a single parent home, stays home full-time as their job to take care of the child, to be there when needs arise, to pick them up from school if an emergency happens. Um, other requirements is that only two PHBC children will be placed in a home at a time. It is a little different from traditional foster care, but because our children have higher needs, we really want our parents to be focusing on a smaller scope of children.